Hello, we're making an interview with Max Horry. Max Horry is chairman of the Ronsard Committee and I'm happy that he's here to answer some questions. Hi hey Max. Hello. So first question, since when are you in Scientology? This is now long ago, it started 78, 1978, I just came to Bern and I was looking for some spiritual way and found Scientology. Good. Why and when did you leave the church? Sorry, I didn't get the question. Why and when did you leave the church? Well, that was 1983 and the reason why, of course, there are, uh, there are thousands of reasons why I left, but the main reason was really when I recognized I have now to break with my own integrity and to start doing overs, which I really disliked very much and that was the main reason. Okay. What is the Ron's Arc Committee? What concept can I get from this? The Ron's Arc Committee was founded to make sure that we have a certain standard. Mm -hmm. We found out when the people left the church that they started to apply it wildly. Some of them, of course, stayed to the standard tech and wanted to do it. They rather were orthodox, but a lot just made whatever they wanted and didn't know how to define standard technology. And that was the main reason why we had founded the Ronzo Committee. Mm -hmm. okay. How many people are part of that network? Well, if we count all people who are students and pieces, notices, then we are probably between 2,000 and 2,500 worldwide. Okay. And how is the hierarchy in it? Because some people may be afraid to say, oh, it's another hierarchy and maybe somebody wants to suppress me there and I'm not independent any longer, I want to be an independent Scientologist. We don't have command lines that are, especially not in the Ronzo Committee, that the Ronzo Committee is going to say anything about what an org has to do. I mean, let me say the finances or where and what they should deliver. The only thing what we say is keep a certain standard and if you deliver something, you have to be trained for it. That's the only thing. And if you fulfill with this policies, then you can be part of the Ronzo Committee. So it gives some kind of a standard that people can see, yes, this is Scientology. Okay. Is there a special Ronzo bridge? No, there is just the bridge. We just keep an eye or focus that we have standard, that we apply the standards are given by L. Ron Hubbard. And there are the red volumes, the books, the tapes, whatever, and we apply it. And this is what the Ronzo Committee focuses, that this is applied. Okay. How can one be sure that it's really standard, especially the OT levels? One might think, oh, maybe they do some sort of things. Well, we have the originals of the OT levels. You can read it, you can read the handwritten. We have copies of those. And of course we have tapes, the class 8 tapes, they are all available. You can listen to it. And according to that you can decide if it is what LRH originally intended or not. Mm -hmm. Very good. Uh, who was Captain Bill? Captain Bill was a staff member. He was an exec. He was a high exec in the Church of Scientology and a good friend of Hubbard. And he was actually also responsible that Europe was built up here. That it was established in the 70s. Mm -hmm. That was mainly his product. And around 1980 Hubbard called him and said, listen, there's something going awfully wrong in the church and we have to do something else and sent him out of the church to establish actually what he did then, the free zone and the Ronsorg. Mm -hmm. okay. Did you know him personally? Yes, yes. I have seen several times. I was on his seminars, I was on his lectures and of course I had a talk with him every once in a while. Mm -hmm. Good. Would you call yourself an independent Scientologist? Yes, of course, we are all independent. They are to, this is a new name today, independent. That's a new movement, but actually this is not very new. We are all independent from the very beginning. We, it was not, I mean, it was the only way to survive, to be independent from the church. And, well, we call ourselves Free Zone or better, Ronsorg. Okay. Could you tell me a bit about your work in Russia? What, what happens there? What happened there? 
But in Russia it was so, it was in the beginning when the internet was absolutely new. We had also some internet presence and we were asked for help to establish or to train people who don't want to continue in the church. And then we went over there and we started to deliver what we call the bridge. I mean, we started with the HQS and student had, factually there was no one trained not even objective auditor. There were very few people who had a little bit training on objective auditing. But we had no class for auditors, no supervisor, nothing. And we started just from the scratch. Mm -hmm. Okay. And how many auditors are now there who got trained? It's difficult to say, but I would say about 100 to 150 people are class for auditor. Mm -hmm. Very good. Which courses do you deliver here in the Rons of Bern? Everything, factually everything. There are so many courses and we deliver them. Very good. Which kind of auditing do you deliver? All auditing, all from the very bottom up to the OT levels and round downs, including the ELTS. Okay. What would you advise a person that left the church to do or thinks about leaving the church? Well, he really should think what is correct and he should not compromise with his integrity. He really should take a look what is the attack and he should, some, he should understand that he has to be loyal to L. Ron Hubbard and the technology, I mean to the project, to the mission L. Ron Hubbard started here and he has not to be loyal to some people who just think or just pretend to be the original or whatever. But he really has to see, do I follow the way Hubbard wanted me to do? Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Could you tell me a bit about the OT missions you made? What is it? Well, the basic thought about it I have had around 1918 when there was a mission when they came to Bern to explain what is not course making some promo about knots and they said they have seen the phenomena that you can audit solo in session some other person or some subject and take off charge and the other person is going to respond it's going to answer to you and then they also said well maybe one day Hubbard want us all the OTs to come to one place and to audit something to discharge this area and this is what we have taken up Great. How many people are there or where have you been? Well, we have been in Gran Canaria, we have been in Hawaii, we have been in Jerusalem and this is up to 40 or even a little bit more people. Great. Thank you very much. You're welcome.